Heidi went to the village with Grandfather to get supplies for winter. Dried beans. She wanted to buy some fresh bread for Grandmother. This bread for my fossil? I can't give you more than a bread crumb. My mother doesn't know anything. I could trade you for it. But Heidi was conned by Teresa, who sold her a loaf of bread that was actually barbels. Your bread is here. Oh, little thief. Accused of theft. I didn't steal it. Heidi eventually proved her innocence with the help of Peter and Grandfather. So, Teresa? I did it. <gasps> Enjoy the bread, Grandmother. See the mountains in the east. It should have cleared by tomorrow. At last! That snowstorm lasted forever. I'll put my coat on and also my. Oh! Father, mm. who's this? Well, it's you, with your parents. <gasps> Tobias and Adelaide. It was taken at the manor when we all lived there together. Is that the manor in the village? Mm -hmm. That's where we used to live. Mm. I'd like to go there. Could you take me? Uh, I'd rather not, Heidi. I... I have too many bad memories in that place. Um, all right. Hmm. Right. It stopped snowing. Really? <gasps> I've never seen so much snow. <laughs> That's what winter's like up here. Sometimes it gets two meters deep. <laughs> Grandfather! Can I go and see how Grandmother and Peter are doing? You could come with me. Peter's at school for the day, Heidi. You can't see him now. Look, there's a lot of work to do. If you help me, I'll take you to Grandmother's later today and you'll see Peter. No time to waste, then. <laughs> Stop. Use this. I'll get the other one in the shed. Through effort, can we enjoy comfort? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we go to the village now? Mm -hmm. Yahoo! <laughs> but it's this way, Grandfather. Huh? Grandfather! Would 
you prefer to travel the slow way or the smart way? <laughs> I've never been on a sledge before. Good morning, Brigitte. Uncle. Good morning, Brigitte. Oh, I thought it had stopped snowing. It has. But we took the smart way down. Oh, Grandmother, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh, hello, little one. It's been such a long time. That snow just kept coming down, didn't it? It was beautiful, but it did go on a little long. I felt really lonely, and I couldn't see any of you. I can fix this if you want. You don't have to. Where do you keep the tools? In the shed behind the cabin. It's very kind of you, Uncle. Grandfather! Mm. Can I take the sledge to play with Peter after school? Hmm. All right, but be back before nightfall. Thank you, Grandfather. <laughs> Be careful, Heidi. I will. The day is past. Um. The sun? The sun is set and... Uh, white stars are in the sky. White stars are in the sky. The, the, uh, uh goats. <laughs> mm. Quiet. Uh, sit down, Peter. And next time, come to class prepared. Mm? All right, let's move to arithmetic. Mm. Who is responsible? It was him, Mr. Traber. <gasps> what? It wasn't me. Sit, Peter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Carl, huh? smart boys don't have to be told twice. <laughs> and clowns belong in the circus, not in the classroom. Still some pages left to write lines, then. Fifty of them. Take this down. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Traber, this is unfair. It was Peter. Oh, so you're in the mood for writing lines too, Teresa? No, Mr. Traber. You should have thought of that before you tried to shift the blame. Fifty lines for you too. But... Life is the fruit of my own doing. I have no one to blame but myself. <sighs> <laughs> Peter! Hmm? Heidi! Good to see you. You dug your way out of the snow then. I can't believe how nasty those two are. Yeah, well, they got what they deserved. Thanks to Mr. Traber. He's very fair. Not at all like you said he was. He can be as fair as he likes. Still won't make me like school any better. How about a go on the sledge? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful. <sighs> so... <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bit better than soggy paper, hey, Peter? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> On. That hill only leads to one place. Uh, 
They won't mess with us in the village. Did you know this is Grandfather's house? Of course. And do you know they say it's haunted? Haunted? Mm-hmm. Maybe we could check, shall we? Well, all right then. After you, miss. Oh! Come on! No way out now, Billy Goat! Locked! Grandfather always leaves the cabin key under a rock against the wall. <gasps> yes! You stinky Billy Goat! You'll pay for the lines we got, Peter! Ah! <laughs> They got in. Maybe there's another way in. Come on. Uh, I'll stay here. Come on, William. But, oh, the, the, the ghost. I, I'd rather wait for you at the gate. That way I would, would stop them if they try to escape. As you like. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Let's try at the back. We have to hide. Come with me. Too small for the two of us in here. We have to split up. Heidi? Look. That's Grandfather? Mm hmm. Sure looks like him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Peter. Mm -hmm. Look, over there. We should be able to get in. Hmm. Upstairs. We're going to trap them up there. Is it the ghost? Of course not, Smarty Pants. One of them must have stayed downstairs and is trying to scare us. Hmm. All right. You stay here. I'll take care of the other one. You won't get me. That's what you think.
doing? Are they deaf? <laughs> hey, are you listening? Was still at our doors, missing you. <clears throat> Give little Tobias a kiss for me. All my love, Anna. Give it back. Tobias is my father. <laughs> Will that help us get back down? Just like old times, you'd come every autumn to do all the maintenance around the village. I'll have to check the roof next time I'm here, too. Of course, that was when you were living in the manor with Tobias and Heidi. What is Heidi doing anyway? Losing track of time playing with Peter. Why don't you come in and have some tea while we wait? Thank you, Suzanne. I'd better go and find Heidi. Mm. Next time, I hope. Five o'clock? I have to get down. It's your fault we're stuck here. You came up here, and now I'm stuck with you. If I'm late because of you, I'll be in big trouble. Don't worry. We'll find a way down, but you have to promise you won't chase us again. If you can get us out of here, I'll promise anything. I'm sure we can find something here to make a lot of noise. Huh? Mrs. Keller, what are you doing here? Looking for Teresa. We need her at the store. Uh, I uh, haven't seen her all afternoon. I think she stayed back at school to help Mr. Traber clean the classroom. <laughs> Unlikely, boy. If you do see Teresa, tell her there'll be big trouble if I miss my deliveries. Yes, madam. Hmm? Calm down. You can't escape now, Billy Goat. Here's my answer. <laughs> Missed. Hey, Carl. Hmm? <laughs> huh? 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 <laughs> the ghost! Hey, wait for me! Help! Heidi! Teresa! <sighs> well, it's about time. Teresa, your mother is in the street looking for you. <gasps> Quickly, you have to get us down. Truce? Mm hmm. <gasps> Okay, one at a time. Thank you. What were you two doing down? Teresa didn't mean to be late. It's just that... <laughs> Let's go, Carl. Poor Teresa. Hmm? When her mother finds out, she has lines to do as well. Hmm. She brought it on herself. It's late. I hope Grandfather isn't too worried. Been? I'm sorry, Grandfather. We lost track of time playing on the sledge and then we went in the manor. The manor? Yes. Uh, well, Carl and his friends chased us and we needed somewhere to hide. But all's well that ends well, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's go. It's getting late. 
Grandfather, mm? I liked that painting of you in the manor. Oh, <laughs> that's not me. That's my father. He built the manor. Grandfather, who is Anna? Anna was your grandmother, your father's mother, my wife. Grandfather, can you tell me about her and about my parents? Not now, Heidi. Hmm. Maybe one day. It looks beautifully sunny over there in Sicily. Do you think that's where Chippy went? Maybe, Heidi. Maybe. 